Hi everyone, it's Tom, WA2IVD. Welcome to Ham Cured Smoke. We're going to take a short break from the IC7300 from A to Z series and look at field day activities with the Santa Fe Trail Amateur Radio Club. The club is located in Olathe, Kansas. Olathe is at the southern end of the Kansas City metro area. For more information about the club, check out their website at sftarc.org. If you're new to ham radio, field day takes place every year during the fourth full weekend in June. It's a combination contest, emergency preparedness exercise, and a social event. You can learn more about it at the American Radio Relay League website at arrl.org. The club's field day site was the Enzer Park and Museum. The Enzer Museum showcases the many contributions of Marshall Enzer and his sister Loretta. You can learn about the museum at www.enzerparkandmuseum.org. The club has held field day activities at the museum for a number of years now. The museum site offers a number of benefits. Since it was once a working farm, there are plenty of trees and open space to raise antennas. It also qualifies for the public location bonus points. The first order of business was getting all the equipment to the site. The club has a trailer that provides equipment storage and transportation as well as a couple operating positions. We put up a variety of antennas to provide some options depending on which bands opened up. We operated as three alpha, meaning that we had three stations on the air at any one time, and we were running completely on emergency power. We put up a portable tower with a tri-band beam to cover 20, 15, and 10 meters. We also put a six meter beam above that for the free VHF station that you're allowed, just in case six meters opened up. It took a pretty good crew to get everything for the tower assembled and raised up. Push your dummy. Yeah. On Saturday morning, we cranked up the tower. Other antennas included a vertical in addition to the tribander for the trailer station. The back porch CW station had a full wave 80 meter loop up at least 60 feet for 80 through 10 meter coverage with a tuner. The front porch sideband station had a multi-band vertical and an 80 meter half wave end fed antenna. Once everything's up, that's when the fun begins. Of course, every radio club needs to have an official guard dog to watch the antennas and equipment. And of course, no ham radio, social, or contesting event would be complete without food. In typical Midwest fashion, we had some pretty heavy rains and thunderstorms on Saturday night into Sunday morning. We ended up with a few rivers running through our site, and we did have to shut down a few times because of thunder and lightning in the area. We did manage to copy the special field day ARRL bulletin just before the rainstorm turned into a thunderstorm on Sunday morning, and we had to shut down again for a while. The rainstorm forced breakfast inside on Sunday morning. Six meters wasn't too active, during the entire weekend, but we did have a brief opening to Michigan that got us a handful of contacts on Sunday morning. All right, yeah, nice call sign. Kilowatt Sierra, zero kilowatts of Sierra, go ahead. Copy, we are 3 Alpha Kansas. Copy, 3 Alpha Kansas. Roger on 3 Alpha Kansas. Uh, please copy 2 Alpha Michigan. Uh, two alpha of course, Michigan. all good things come to an end and it was eventually time to start tearing down everything. As part of a proper ham radio operation, when we were done, nobody would know that we were ever even there. That's about it for the field day activities. Hope you enjoyed. For those of you who subscribe, first of all, thank you. But you may have noticed that I've been radio silent as far as YouTube posts for about a month now. We were on an extended family vacation and then I jumped right back into a crazy work schedule when we got back. I plan to get back into weekly posts at least, so that we can get the rest of the way through that manual. Next time, we'll get back to the IC7300, and we'll start covering operation of the spectrum scope. I'm Tom, WA2IVD, and thanks for watching Ham Cured Smoke.